men of the 1st Armoured Regiment of the Australian Regular Army in training at Pakapanyal, Victoria. Our rapidly expanding land forces are getting modern equipment learning all about them at the School of Armour. Officer instructors have practical experience of tank warfare in Syria and the Middle East. Now they're training the technicians of Australia's mechanised army. Maintenance is vital, for no armoured regiment can be more efficient than its vehicles. Workshops operated by the Royal Australian Electrical and Mechanical Engineers service the equipment, keeping steel monsters in perfect trim. Recruits for the armoured regiment study the complicated gear change system and differential gearing of a ground tank. Many instructors have studied new war weapons in England and with armies of occupation in Europe. First lessons in marksmanship are learned with a classroom model of a ground tank gun turret. The 37mm gun packs a powerful punch and these boys are soon expert in using it. They're using an indoor pellet range, this one a desert landscape. These are Churchill tanks and they're ready for drill and target practice. Each tank has a crew of five, forming a team that becomes more and more efficient. Not many men have the qualifications to enlist in the armoured regiment. It needs and gets the best. Here's the crew of one Churchill tank. Crew Commander Ma of Gromanga, Queensland. Wireless operator Tyler of Wagga, New South Wales. Driver Witten, Randwick, Sydney. Gunner Byrne, Werris Creek, New South Wales. Hull Gunner Harris of Goodwood, South Australia. Men from all parts of the Commonwealth ready to operate these powerful weapons of defence. The first of a flow of technicians into the armoured regiment. Crew commanders get last minute instructions from their troop leader and crews clamber aboard at the double. Tanks move off for drill and firing practice. Modern steel clad weapons of war, essential to Australia's defence. Under radio directions from the troop leader, tanks keep formation. No wonder service in this regiment demands such a high degree of technical skill in driving and maintenance of powerful vehicles, in the tactics of land defence, and in radio, the eyes and ears of every tank. The commander issues a new order and the troop changes direction, wheeling in towards the attack. Here's the target, operated on a railway and controlled by an electrical switchboard. It's moving pretty fast, but that's the sort of target tank crews learn to expect. This is ideal tank country, flat and open, although it offers no protection from air attack. It is in contrast to the rugged terrain of Korea, on which United Nations armour is at death grips with communist power at this moment. The tanks are getting closer now, coming in for the kill. High explosive shells burst on a hillside. There will be little shelter for enemy troops lurking there right now. And so the armoured regiment carries on in the tradition of the famous Australian armoured division of the last war. Here seen manoeuvring somewhere in Australia in the early 40s, when the menace of Japanese invasion was at its height. As the threat of aggression grows, Australia needs all her mechanised might. And our armoured fighting vehicles must be manned by skilled technicians. The first armoured regiment is the beginning of a modern armoured division.